Every second, trillions of particles pass through your body, unnoticed, silent, and undetectable by most instruments. These are neutrinos, one of the most mysterious particles in the universe. Created in the cores of stars, in the aftermath of supernova explosions, and even in particle accelerators on Earth, neutrinos hold the potential to explain some of the biggest mysteries in science. Why does matter exist? How are elements like carbon and oxygen formed in dying stars? To unravel these questions, scientists are building one of the most ambitious experiments in history, the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment, DUNE. With a staggering $2 billion investment, this groundbreaking project is located 1.5 kilometers underground, where it aims to shed light on some of the universe's deepest secrets. It's a global effort, involving over 1,000 scientists from over 30 countries. Together, they aim to unlock the secrets of neutrinos and reshape our understanding of the universe. But why is it located so deep underground? Let's find out. What if I told you there are particles so tiny and so elusive that trillions of them are passing through your body right now, completely unnoticed? Meet neutrinos, subatomic particles born in the heart of stars, during cataclysmic supernovae, from the decay of radioactive elements, and even in the high-energy collisions of particle accelerators. But here's the twist. Unlike most particles, neutrinos are electrically neutral and interact so weakly with matter that they can traverse entire planets without leaving a single trace. Why does that matter? Neutrinos are more than a curiosity, they're cosmic messengers. They carry secrets from the most extreme and distant events in the universe, from the nuclear fusion powering our sun to the explosive deaths of stars. But their story doesn't stop in space. Neutrinos are also born in our own creations, nuclear reactors and particle accelerators, bridging the gap between the mysteries of astrophysics and the experiments of modern physics. And here's where things get even stranger. Neutrinos come in three flavors, electron, muon, and tau. Yet, as they travel, they exhibit a mind-bending behavior called oscillation shifting from one type to another. Imagine starting with chocolate ice cream, only to find out it's become vanilla a few steps later, and then strawberry by the time you sit down. Sounds impossible, right? But this very phenomenon earned the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics because it shattered our assumptions. The standard model of physics once assumed neutrinos were massless, but their oscillation revealed they possess a tiny yet profound mass, a discovery that opens new windows into the universe's most fundamental workings. Neutrino oscillations are more than a quirky fact of nature, they hold the keys to some of the greatest mysteries in physics. By studying these tiny particles, we may uncover why the cosmos evolved into a place filled with galaxies, stars, and life, rather than being an empty void bathed in light. Why go through the trouble of building a lab deep beneath the Earth's surface? Detecting neutrinos is no ordinary task. These ghost-like particles pass through matter with such ease that their signals are incredibly faint and often lost in a sea of cosmic rays and background radiation. To overcome this, the dune detectors are stationed 1.5 kilometers underground at the Sanford Underground Research Facility, SURF, in South Dakota. This immense shield of solid rock acts as a natural noise-canceling barrier, blocking out the constant bombardment of cosmic rays that would otherwise overwhelm the detectors. By isolating these fleeting interactions, scientists can focus on the rare and extraordinary moments when neutrinos reveal themselves. But there's more to this underground site than its practical advantages. It's steeped in scientific history. The former Homestake Gold Mine was once home to pioneering neutrino experiments in the 1960s. Here, physicist Ray Davis achieved a groundbreaking milestone, detecting solar neutrinos for the first time using a massive tank filled with cleaning fluid. 
His work earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2002 and laid the foundation for modern neutrino science. Today, Dune continues this legacy, leveraging cutting-edge technology to capture neutrino interactions with unprecedented precision. Still, why not detect neutrinos on the surface? Think of it this way, it's like trying to hear a whisper in the middle of a roaring stadium. On the surface, neutrino signals are drowned out by millions of false detections caused by cosmic rays. Moving the detectors underground creates a quiet zone where interference is almost entirely eliminated, allowing scientists to focus on the true signals. Additionally, the subterranean location offers a strategically ideal environment for the Dune project's long-term goals. Its depth and isolation protect sensitive equipment from environmental disruptions, while the historical significance of the site serves as a reminder of how far neutrino research has come and how much further it can go. Dune isn't only a scientific venture, it's a groundbreaking marriage of engineering and physics designed to unravel some of the universe's most profound mysteries. But how exactly does this incredible experiment operate? Let's break it down. It all starts at Fermilab, just outside Chicago, home to one of the world's most sophisticated particle accelerators. This facility generates the most intense neutrino beam ever created. But here's the fascinating part. Dune doesn't need a massive tunnel or elaborate conduits to transport the beam. Why? Because neutrinos are special. These ghostly particles can travel straight through the Earth, bypassing rock and soil as if they weren't even there. The journey covers a staggering 1,300 kilometers and ends at the Sanford Underground Research Facility, SURF, in South Dakota. Now, what happens when these elusive particles arrive at SURF? That's where the magic truly begins. Deep underground, towering detectors stand ready to capture the fleeting traces of neutrinos. Picture this, four cryogenic modules, each as tall as a seven-story building, collectively holding a jaw-dropping 17,000 tons of liquid argon. But why liquid argon? This medium is perfect for spotting neutrino interactions. Here's how it works. When a neutrino collides with an argon nucleus, it creates a tiny burst of light and a trail of ionized particles. These ephemeral signals are detected by an intricate network of advanced sensors, which record the data and translate it into a map of the neutrino's journey. This allows scientists to reconstruct details like the particle's energy, trajectory, and even its type. What truly sets Dune apart is its immense scale and global collaboration. This is no ordinary project. It's a monumental effort involving over 1,000 scientists and engineers from more than 30 countries, including Brazil, the UK, Japan, and the United States. Prestigious institutions like CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, are providing cutting-edge technology, including prototypes for Dune's colossal detectors. This unprecedented partnership extends to leading universities and research centers across the globe, combining resources and expertise to achieve the ambitious goals of the experiment. What makes the deep underground neutrino experiment, Dune, such a big deal? At its heart, Dune is tackling some of the universe's biggest mysteries, questions that scientists have been trying to answer for years. One of its main goals is to figure out why the universe exists the way it does. At the very beginning, when the universe was formed, there should have been equal amounts of matter and antimatter. These two opposites would have destroyed each other, leaving behind nothing but light. But that didn't happen. Somehow, matter took over, and now we have stars, galaxies, planets, and life. Why did this happen? Neutrinos, tiny particles that can change from one type to another as they travel, might hold the answer. This strange behavior, called oscillation, could explain how matter won over antimatter and shaped the universe as we know it. Dune could finally help us solve this puzzle. Dune is also a window into the stars. When massive stars reach the end of their lives, they collapse in massive explosions called supernovae. These events release a huge burst of neutrinos, much faster than the light from the explosion itself. 
By studying these neutrinos, scientists can learn about what happens inside a star when it dies. This is more than simply cool science. Supernovae create and spread elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron, which are essential for planets and life. In a way, supernovae are the universe's way of recycling material for the next generation of stars and planets. With Dune, we can better understand these incredible processes that make life possible. Another exciting goal of Dune is to see if protons, one of the building blocks of atoms, can decay or break down. Scientists have long thought protons might last forever, but some theories suggest they may eventually decay, though over incredibly long times. If Dune finds proof of proton decay, it would be a groundbreaking discovery, changing how we understand matter and the universe. It could even bring us closer to understanding how all the forces of nature work together. The Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment is a bold step toward unraveling the secrets of existence itself. From understanding the origins of matter to exploring the farthest reaches of physics, Dune promises to reshape our knowledge of the cosmos. And as scientists prepare for decades of discoveries, one thing is clear. The ghostly neutrino might just hold the key to everything. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest content.